So we've got a lot of stuff we're going to cover today. Before we get into it, though, let's, I want to take a little bit of time here and talk about Alec Baldwin. He was on ABC News earlier this week with his little, uh, what do you want to call it? His, is this part of his apology tour? Is he part of a you know, save my ass, save my career tour? What's really disgusting here, I'm going to get to the whole, I'm not responsible. Yes, Alex, you are responsible for her death. It's not because you pulled the trigger or let the hammer go on the gun. I'm, I'm going to get to that, though, but you are responsible. Um, ABC advertised this as some tell-all, you, know, you know, big interview with Al, his first interview. They're profiting or trying to profit off the death of Helena Hutchins, who was killed in this accident, and now they're marketing this thing to make money. It's disgusting. Hollywood knows no TV. They just, it's just a bunch of scumbags. So Alec Baldwin, you're an ass. You're a spineless piece of crap. And here's why, people. He says, I didn't squeeze the trigger. He pulled the hammer back. He let the hammer go, fired the gun. You know what? That happens. But that's not, that, that's the bullet fired. It killed her. But why did it happen is the bigger question. Alec Baldwin is a producer on this film. It is the job of the producers to spend money, to basically create the environment in which the film gets made. He is one of the producers. They went cheap. They went really cheap. In fact, when they were hiring positions, they had the Neil Zaromsky, veteran prop master, was asked to do this movie. He came in, saw the situation, said, and declined. He wouldn't do it, stating, you're creating a dangerous work environment. You can't have the prop master be the armorer. You need two separate people, and you need to have a staff to properly maintain safety and order during this movie. They didn't do that. They wanted to go cheap. So they hired Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who was a young lady. It's the first time she's ever been an armorer. She was also the prop master. Way too much workload. Now, what some people may not know is... Five days prior to the shooting, Baldwin's stunt double fired two live rounds out of a stunt gun that he thought was empty or thought had blanks in it. This, this had already happened. It just nobody happened to get killed. And did they slow down? Did they stop production? Did they figure out, you know, why is this happening? No. They had people on this production crew walk off the set because of unsafe work conditions, and they thought people were gonna get hurt. Well, you know what? People did get hurt, someone got killed. And Alec, this is on you because it was your part of your decision to go cheap and not spend the money to actually make a production set that was safe and could make this film. This is 100% on you, and for you to sit there and say it's not my fault, you're a spineless piece of crap, your career should be over, you, you probably will not be prosecuted. There's probably not a way they're going to pin this on you legally. But you know what? In civil court, they're going to win. and she, Her family's going to win, and they're going to win big. Um, I did a quick Google search on Alec Baldwin's net worth. It comes in around $60 million. Okay, between him and the other people involved, they could have spent the money. They could have spent the money to make this film properly. They went cheap. Now, he sits there in front of the camera saying, it's not my fault. BS, Alec. It is your fault. You created it. You put the wheels in motion that result in the death of someone. Own up to it. If you actually own up to it and say, look, this is what happened, talk about it. Maybe people could learn from your mistake so it doesn't happen again, as opposed to taking the Hollywood, bury your head in the sand, or just claim, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. So instead of simply just denying it and saying it wasn't my fault, why don't you actually dig into it, look at the mistakes that were made so people can learn so mistakes like this don't happen again, but you won't do that. All you care about is one thing, protecting your little precious career. Well, you know what? I think your career's about over. And when the uh, civil courts get done with you, Hopefully your financial life will be over with too because you are on the hook for this one. You put the, the wheels in motion. It's because of your decisions that this person was killed.